I'm Steve Roberts, the Middleton Railways Mechanical Engineer, and I'm the person responsible for overseeing the overhaul of Rooks, which is mainly being done by our younger volunteers under supervision from our older and more experienced members. Uh, at the moment I'm uh, doing some work on the spring hanger holes. These have worn quite badly, so we've put uh, bushes in, we've drilled them out and put bushes in, and now I'm just going to ream the holes out to make sure that uh, they are true and the, the new pins will fit in properly. Right, I'm nearly through now. That's, that's gone right through, so bring it back out. And then just try this pin in to make sure it's a nice, good fit. Yeah, that's fine, that's job done. Okay. Over at the workbench, we've been doing quite a lot of work that it doesn't actually focus around the locomotive, but it's still essential to its overhaul. This is actually the reversing lever, which allows the locomotive, as it suggests, to move in a forwards and reverse direction. During the locomotive's life, this component gets quite a lot of wear um, with the movement of the rods and the valve gear and everything. Um, and as a result, um, we've got to do quite a lot of work in refitting various parts to this, probably making new sections, um, and also the very basics of cleaning it down and repainting it ready to go on the refitted locomotive. At the moment, we're simply cleaning off the paint and assessing again the wear that's occurred over the years of service and seeing how best we can affect some, um, some repair to this. Um, this is one of the biggest problems we've got is that again we don't really know how um, things should necessarily uh, go together, how they should have been fitted originally and there's been quite a lot of modifications to this individual piece um, that means we may need to return it more closely to how it was originally constructed. So we've been making some new components for Brooks's brake gear, uh, including some pins, um, some spring hangers, and also working down here on the frames. The first thing that we've had to do is actually to um, make the pins and ensure that these are going to fit in the holes that we've now created in the frames and in the spring hangers. So this component on the actual um, engine was very, very worn. Um, so we've constructed these completely, fabricated them from new, they're solid steel. Um, the pins have also been machined. Um, they've been machined in our uh, own workshops using the lathes and employing some of the skills that we've been teaching the younger members. Um, you can see the pin there is a fairly good fit on the uh, end of the brake hanger. And actually when it's in place, it's attached here to the spring of the locomotive and through this side here goes a split pin to ensure that it doesn't fall out. They need to fit into the frame something like this. The pin goes through here, it passes through the brake hanger. This item that's swinging here from the bottom, this is where the spring of the locomotive is attached. There's also one the other side of the uh, axle box and that supports the axle of the locomotive as it's riding over the track. This is a reversing lever for the locomotive. Um, it's actually had to be completely taken off. Um, the base unit has had to be disassembled um, and there was considerable wear in lots of the components. So we've actually had to repair quite a lot of the sections of it. Um, and this item of the locomotive takes quite a lot of uh, thrashing when the loco is moving. Um, so we've actually had to do quite a lot of work around the bottom end. Um, down here and the trigger mechanism which releases uh, it selects forwards or reverse on the locomotive um, and it sits in some notches around the bottom here. These notches have become very, very worn, so we've had to make sure we can actually repair those so that the locomotive, when it's in forward or reverse gear, positively stays there um, and doesn't move around when you're trying to um, manufacture a kind of movement for the loco. 